Hello, it's Brett Handebrink with SideTime covering a training module on the performance, stability, and robustness of MEMS oscillators versus quartz oscillators under various conditions such as shock, vibration, EMS, and noise. Accurate time references are critical to system performance. However, there are various environmental conditions that can affect oscillator performance. Exposure to electromagnetic energy is one such example. Electromagnetic susceptibility is the susceptibility of a device to electromagnetic radiation from external sources, such as radiation from other components on the PCB. To demonstrate oscillator EMS, various oscillators were tested in an accredited test lab according to IEC 61004.3 standards. The devices under test were placed on a non-conductive table 80 centimeters above the chamber floor with an antenna placed at 3 meters from the target device in an anechoic chamber. Using an Agilent phase noise generator and an Agilent digital signal analyzer, single-ended quartz and MEMS oscillators were tested. The results? Sidetime's MEMS oscillators demonstrated up to four times better performance compared to the quartz equivalents. Using the same time setup, tests were conducted under the oscillators operating under full LVDS conditions showed side-time MEMS oscillators to have up to 54 times better performance comparable to quartz oscillators. The superior performance can be attributed to the design of side-time oscillators comprised of a MEMS resonator die mounted to a mixed signal CMOS die housed in a plastic package. Side-time MEMS oscillators demonstrate superior EMS performance over other oscillators including those housed in a metal can. The analog circuits in side time oscillators are optimized for electrically noisy conditions and include differential circuits that inherently reject any coupled common mode noise. Other quartz and MEMS oscillator designs rely more on packaging and not on noise suppressing analog circuits. In addition, the silicon MEMS resonators are driven by electrostatic excitation, thereby making them naturally less sensitive to incoming EMI. Power supplies are a major source of noise in any system. Most of this noise is filtered out by passive filters and decoupling capacitors that are placed on the power supply input of the oscillator. However, some noise remains which may increase the jitter on the output clock and can negatively impact system timing margins. This noise is amplified when the power supply is switched on and also when other devices on the board turn off or on during system operation. In a controlled test to evaluate the power supply noise sensitivity, a waveform generator was used to add system noise at a specified voltage and frequency to measure the effect of power supply noise on an oscillator jitter. You can see on the graph that side times MEMS oscillator jitter is lower across all noise frequencies even when a 50 millivolt peak to peak switching noise is injected into the system. It is important to understand how electronic components perform in the presence of shock. Because the frequency of oscillators can vary when exposed to shock, SciTime commissioned a third party test lab to measure the effect of shock impact on oscillator performance using the test setup as shown in this slide. A continuous time interval analyzer was used to measure oscillator output frequency and 100 microsecond time windows continuously for 10 to 15 seconds. The frequency deviation before, during, and after mechanical shock was applied to the oscillator in X, Y, and Z directions and recorded. The mechanical shock impulses were generated by test lab equipment per specifications of MIL standard 883F with one microsecond half sine wave shock pulse and a peak acceleration of 500 Gs. This MIL standard is widely adopted for testing quartz crystal oscillator survivability under mechanical shock and non-operational mode. Most commercially available quartz crystal oscillators are specified in environmental qualification tests with levels of 100 Gs to 1500 Gs mechanical shock, while side time MEMS oscillators have achieved environmental qualifications greater than 10,000 Gs. This graph shows the results of maximum transient frequency deviation in response to mechanical shock tests on selected LVCMOS oscillators as discussed in part one. SciTime's single-ended LVCMOS oscillator performed at 15 times better than comparable quartz-based devices. This graph shows the results of maximal transient frequency deviation in response to mechanical shock tests on selected differential oscillators. The saw-based devices are especially sensitive to shock with over 10 ppm of transient frequency spike. Other quartz devices exhibited 2 to 4 ppm of peak frequency deviation. The only exception is the side time device which demonstrated a transient frequency deviation of less than 1 ppm. We are going to pause here and end part 1 of the part 2 series. In part 2 we will discuss performance as it relates to vibration.